in today's episode, we explore an abandoned home in the middle of the forest. From what I could find, the old lady that lived here died in the early 2000s, and her kids didn't want her things, so now they just sit forgotten. Who knows what will happen with the house, and what will happen to everything inside, but for now, it just sits. Come along as we explore this piece of history. All right, here we are starting the video off. And it's it just, just from the outside, it just looks really, really cool. And it's like surrounded by the forest. If we look over here on the left, it's completely surrounded with just forest and brush and everything else. And it just has a cool vibe to it. It just looks really cool from the outside. But, um, and as you can see, it is a very gloomy day. It was just raining a lot. It was just super foggy. So it's really, really gives a cool vibe. Really happy to go exploring. I didn't go in a while. But yeah, here we go. It's a fallen tree right here. Let's take a quick view of the outside of the house before we actually go in. But, and it looks like there's a, uh, a little basement door right here to go in. Might go in there after, we'll see. But take a look at those blinds up there. Look at how cool that looks. Oh, wow. This is pretty nice, not gonna lie. And there's a nice swing over here too, a nice wooden swing. Maybe they had kids at some point. Maybe this was their childhood home. But all right, it's time to go inside now. Let's see what's in here. Okay guys, we're walking into the kitchen. This is the first room we're seeing right now. I'm really liking the vibe to it though. The nice yellow old sink. You just know this house is old, just based on how it looks like. And the one or two pieces of uh, silverware and that stuff. Stuff still in the drawers too cups and bowls and stuff. This old light fixture over here is pretty interesting too. It looks very vintage, very old. That Hershey's can looks pretty old too. But um, There's a small room over here next to the kitchen. I'm not sure exactly what this would be. Oh, there's a nice chair just chilling here and a door to go outside. And in this corner of the kitchen, there's also a really, really nice stove. Looks really old, looks really interesting. Take a look at that. But moving on to the house, let's go over here in this room. This looks to be the bathroom. The bathroom does look to be pretty decayed. There's ceiling falling all over. But, it still looks really cool. And you can see there's, there's still a towel hanging over there. Medicine and whatnot still. Still there. That's pretty neat, guys. This is really nice. Oh, yeah. Check this out, though. I'm really vibing with this room. And moving on to the left. Looks like we have a nice living room with a nice blue and white wallpaper contrast. It definitely looks really, really nice. But wow, check out this setup right here. Nice piano, a nice blue piano matching the wallpaper. And then right next to it, we got a nice bookcase filled with old books. An old TV, unfortunately, smashed. And a Christmas tree on top of it, too. That's pretty interesting. It's kind of sad, too. It must have died during Christmas time. And then lastly, a nice rocking chair just chilling there. But look at this. 
There's some ice skating shoes on the door. Just hanging there. There must be a nice lake somewhere on the property that the owners were just ice skate around during the winter. It's pretty nice. There's some old books here as well. This American book. Just a bunch of pictures. But yeah, this definitely would have been the living room. Some two nice couches right here. Just chill up here. Maybe watch some TV. Maybe play some piano. Right there is the kitchen. And then right here is the dining room, judging by the table. Definitely a very, very nice house. I like it a lot. And there's even an old record player over here in this corner. Ooh. But the wind is blowing. It's kind of raining, kind of drizzling outside. Really, really nice exploring weather. I like this a lot. There's a nice couch here as well. So chill at. And right here is a nice place to maybe put some put some nice things up here. Nice collectibles or antiques. Nice light fixture. With some cups still on the table. two cushions here. I doubt the owners would have slept down here because there is a second floor. We'll go up there in a sec. But um, still cool. Let's see if there's anything in these drawers. No, there's nothing. Most of the stuff is just out here laying around. But alright, time to go to the second floor. Let's see what we find up here. And it looks like the blue and white wallpaper actually stops. And up here it turns into some, um, it looks like purple wallpaper for the hallways. So it's pretty neat. And check this room out though, just looking at it from the outside. You can see how nice this is and how antique and vintage it looks. Wow. A nice transition to some dark, darkish wallpaper. Well, give it a nice vibe, nice eerie vibe, nice eerie feel. And there's a lamp up here on top of the dresser. Looks pretty cool. And it looks like there's some bed sheets. Still there. But this is the layout of the room here, guys. Some nice beds chilling here. And then right here, we got a nice dresser for to keep her bag a nice mirror it's all fogged up but we got a dresser right here to keep some clothes blinds I'm really liking the the curtains right here though looks really really cool and it looks like there's were some be some flowers over here as well they're all dead they're all dried up now but take a look at the surrounding area it's all forest it's like surrounded in the middle of nowhere. Wow. Let's see if there's anything interesting in the closet. There, could, there always could be. You never know. Uh, it's kind of dark, but uh, no, not really. But all the windows are broken, and you can look, you can feel the humidity up here. But check out this nice room right here. It's right next to the bedroom we just went in. But this looks like another bedroom. Wow. Check this out. It looks so antique. It looks so nice. Really frozen in time. You see the stuff on the dresser. It's a nice radio over here. Some nice hair curlers. My grandma uses those. The dress. Just the bed over here. Really nice looking bed. With the baby photo over there. Then right next to it we got an old, old style vacuum cleaner. And a pair of shoes. And on the other side, got
got a nice mirror. It's all fogged up. And right next to the mirror, we got a dresser. There's still some fragrance bottles right here. It's pretty interesting. And then in this corner, we have the closet. There's a few, uh, few coats, a few things like that. Things that would belong in the closet. We got a nice note down here as well. Oh, this is really nice. There's a bunch of books scattered around too. Probably from this bookshelf right here. And there's a card from... There's no date on it. Oh, it says 1962. So that might be around the time that this place is abandoned. I'm walking over here though. This looks like it would have been the master bedroom. So it definitely is the biggest bedroom we've seen so far. Unless we find a bigger one. It's a nice bed here. Maybe actually a kid's room. Because there are some Legos here. Yeah, this might have been a kid's room at some point. Which is pretty sad. And there's a bunch of books scattered around as well. Nothing really too interesting. And then a dresser right here. Of course, with another wind, uh, another mirror. It's been taken out. Probably broken by vandals. But and Then there's some more stuff on the dresser here. Let's see if we can find a date. 1967 right here. Along with a nice uh, note next to it. There's a Dear Grandma. Son kind of sad and in the drawers just a bunch of linen a bunch of bed sheets and things like that yeah and all the rooms here on the second floor have a different wallpaper we saw one with like a purple feel this one has like a kind of like a brownish and the wallpaper over here Looks to be purple as well, but. All right guys, we just explored this house. I liked it a lot, very cool place. Uh, we got to see a lot, old antiques, everything left behind of course. We're on the outside right now. I'm just looking around, getting a nice feel. But um, if you liked it, please like and subscribe. See you next time.